Hi friends, this is MD Vegan and today I will prepare a corn soup and I found it pretty tricky to find really a good recipe that works and tastes delicious because corn, I don't know, there is something has some um, some um, qualities like a cereal but and it has uh, very dense and is heavy, seems heavy it is nice and special but in soups I didn't really find a way to make it really delicious without cooking it Okay, I, I guess I found a way and um, uh, my blender broke today so I have my old blender he's a little bit, he's got a power blender he's, a, he's powerful too but by far not that powerful so I have to be a little more careful first I will show you the ingredients in total it is the first the corn, frozen corn, you see? Frozen corn and some cashews. That's what I will blend first. Cashews will make it creamy together with the avocado. This has to make it creamy too. And then what goes very good with corn is bell pepper, I found. They love each other, I would say. And the, the, the nice flavor that adds the lime to the corn soup, you, you won't want to miss it. And some ginger to get some hot, some heat, cayenne of course, and chives. See for my garden. That's pretty much it. I will do that now. The beginning with the corn is I have a uh, not set that powerful blender. It is a good one. It is one for 100 bucks. And it has a glass container even. This is very good. My other one has a, a, a plastic one. And um, so I will first I will first just blend the corn and put the <coughs> boiling water into over it. Just to get the corn really nice creamy. So I use only a little bit of water so the blender can work it easily. And I do it right now. One, two, three. It's not as loud as my blender, my new blender. And let's see if it has the right consistency. Yeah, it's okay. In such a blender, you won't get it that creamy, you know. But it is creamy now. I will show you later. <clears throat> now I put the cashews in. I do it again. One incorporate. Blending is a little bit more tricky because they're not so powerful. small pieces and now I give um, I add the avocado the avocado half of the avocado see it's a nice one very good texture perfectly ripe it is soft half an avocado is enough and then let's spoon it see like this spoon it if it is ripe, it's very easy to spoon out. And just put it into the blender. 
The rest will go into my soup as pieces. And I cut the lime. Oh, but first, before I cut it, I cut it. I will put some zest of the lime into the soup. Maybe the zest of half a lime. With the corn and the avocado, they can take a lot of flavors in. So can even take some more than half a lime. I will take all the lime, whole, the whole peel. I will put it in. And um, without the avocado, you would do that without the avocado. You say, oh, um, the cashews, for example, they make it creamy enough. Then you will have too much of a lime. So if you don't take avocado in here, which I recommend to do, then um, you cannot take that much of a lime. So see, this is the grated lime. Most of it. The rest I cut of the peel. So we can watch. cut the rest. The peel has to go all of it, otherwise it will determine the bitterness of the a certain bitterness in the flavor of the soup, and I don't need that in the corn soup. Corn soup has to be sweet, not tangy. As far as I can see this in the situation. So, this is the so lime, see, whole lime, small one, a little bit of ginger, ginger root, corn and ginger is perfect together. I want to grate it, I forgot, I, use, I usually take the whole ginger, but here I have a ginger grater, and that is easier for the blender. Make it as easy as possible to get the creamy consistency of my soup. So maybe a, a centimeter of a finger of a ginger root. So what else? Yeah, the chives. See, handful of chives, smaller pieces, just fold it a couple of times, and then you cut it. Very economic. It's always important to apply economy of motions in the work because otherwise you lose time, energy, or form. Some cayenne pepper. See, this is dangerous now. This is the quantity, it's almost too much. You should never use too much because if you use it in the beginning, you can never get it out again. And I like the different kinds of peppers, so I take some red pepper on top of the cayenne pepper. They have again totally different characters. So it rounds the soup, gives it a little bit more variety in the hot meat. So I guess that's it. Anything else? I guess that was, that was it. So I put the lid on top. Oh, the saw! I forgot. One of the very most important ingredients, salt. Can a little bit more, more salt. See, I like a little bit more salt. That's all completely to your liking. How much salt you would prefer. You can always give a little bit salt later. If you want, of course. So, now, final touch, final blend. One, two, three. I would like to add some more hot water anyway 
with the water and um, I blend it before it gets all the water then it is easier to blend it. Mm. Oh yeah, oh yeah, mm. wonderful. Some more boiling water. A nice creamy soup. Maybe a little less salt. Mmm, already taste the lime. It's a wonderful recipe. I tried it before. <laughs> and um, I tried it before without avocado. And uh, yeah, I couldn't show that to you because uh, it has to be with avocado. Same spoon twice unwashed. Oh yeah. I I show you. I have to show you. See. How creamy this soup run is. Nice. Mm. Nice creamy runny soup. On top, I show you could put the avocado. Use a knife, you could cut it inside. One, two, three, crosswise, like you do with a mango. And then you turn it around and you throw it into the, the soup. my fingers and here I show you in a minute how nice this how nice this looks see some pieces of avocado it's perfect in this soup I will greatly enjoy this soup and I wish you a wonderful evening